Yo, my guys, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. We're back for another video. So in today's video, I was just literally, before I shot this, I was cooking up this fire loot, man. I was like, damn, Nave Smalls would body this, Gunner would body this, DB would body this. So I thought, it's only right to show you guys um, this fire sort of catchy melodic loop, and hopefully you guys will benefit from it. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be getting into in today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date for the producer content on a weekly basis here. And uh, make sure you smash the bell too. That is pretty much it. We're going to jump into the cook up now. So uh, let's go. Okay, guys. So the first thing I want to do is walk you guys through uh, this loop I've created. I'm going to play you the loop that I've come up with. And then we're going to kind of develop it from there. So I'll let you listen to it first. That's fire. So this is the plugin that we're in in the FMR Acoustic, and we're using these low octave notes to create slides. They have different effects um, in the contact bank that I'm using, as you'll see here. As you can see here, spacing the chords out is really important. So next up, I actually came into a pad in Nexus, and this is what I came up with. I was using some simple chords, and I've used Alt A to arpeggiate these, and this is what we came up with. Just put over an EQ and reverb on there, just to sort of give it more vibe. And then we moved on to the Kaval in Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. So each element provides something. The guitar provides the chords and the basic structure. The pad is just a texture and the ethnic elements, these are basically like the lead, so the flute, the cabal. Next I wanted to add like a soulful piano. You hear a lot of these in like Nave Small's beats, so it's just the soft piano out of Labs and it's a completely free plugin. I'll show you how it sounds on its own now. You can really kind of feel the emotion it adds, so while on its own, it's very simple. It just really adds a nice feel to the beats. That kind of pain vibe as well, do you know what I mean? Word, you know what I mean? Word, you know what I mean? Especially when them books be, you know what I mean? I went into this other free plugin that I found. Shouts out to Jay, man. He showed me this, JSOL Beats. Uh, he's a drill producer, he's sick. He showed me this plugin, DSK. And I believe it's the Celtic Heart preset, which I'll show you now. So that one is really fine, it's free. Go check it out. So here, here's a sort of idea of what I'm gonna do structurally to the melodies, how I'm gonna space them out. Because one thing I definitely used to do was stack too many melodies on top of each other, especially when I started out. So we're gonna probably go ahead and render all of this. But uh, first, I'm just going to render out this flute and then just take it down a whole octave. So now we've got the sample, so we just want to have stumped an EQ on before we add some drums to it. So we're going to be really kind of trying to emphasize the bounce with the snares, claps, percussive elements, hi-hats. Um, so here we're just adding an automation so where we're not going to have any drums, we can have all the lower frequencies and high frequencies in there. So we'll start with some basic bounce with the snares. That's a nice start. Now I want to add a two-step hi-hat pattern just to get it going with some rhythm. And let me just take some of the out off this one. 
And you guys wondering what hat I'm using, this hat is the limitless hat from the Fusion High Hat mini kit. So now I want to get in a heavy bass, this is like really important. And now you want to move that A to another note because that doesn't sound right. I'm just changing the BPM, just sped it up a little bit, to make it say a little bit more simple. Because sometimes less is just more. So I just got rid of all those double and bare weights. So now I want to use the reverse hat here, just to add some cool texture and bounce. See, I put the sample start much further along on the start offset there, just so it doesn't take too long for it to swell so it's off time. And now I just want to add some gaps to have more balance in the hi hats. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully you benefited from it, whether you learned something or you got some inspiration from it. I hope it helped. If it did, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment below, show the channel some support and join the three and a half thousand subscribers here on a weekly basis. Hit that bell too so you don't miss out on anything. I also wanted to let you guys know I am in the current works of designing a new kit. This is gonna be a really awesome kit when it's done. I'm aiming for um, a beta version to come out for you guys to try um, sometime in June and then hopefully launch it also a little bit later in June. But we'll have to wait and see with that. I don't like to put too much pressure, but I promise you the kit is crazy. we will learn a lot more uh, sound design with some close friends that we're all into producing and stuff. So um, it's going to be a really awesome product for producers so i just wanted to give you guys a heads up and i'll definitely if you're not on my email list just sign up grab my community drum kicks i'll be letting everyone know via that but uh yeah that is pretty much the video sorry for the ramble there i'm going to give you guys a quick preview of the beat and what i did with it and uh yeah man i'll catch you guys in the next one Jalen Senate Pack.